Get all mites, in this landscape photography critique, I've got 10 pictures from Andy. So let's get started with the first one right here. So obviously a seascape picture. I do like the overall color, especially the graduation in the sky, really nice. I think you went a little bit far with the vignetting, especially on the top. But you know, other than that, really like the colors, very saturated, very vibrant. To the composition, I do like it. I definitely think there's way too much black down here. Just crop it so there are a few ferns right there, but really nothing of this very big black space. And I think you would get a much cleaner look while still remaining this depth. And you could of course also try to get a panoramic crop, just something like this. Um, but once again, I really like the color in the sky as well, but might just be something you want to try out. Overall, I do like the picture. And to the next one, so here you went for the panoramic crop. I do like the composition once again, really like the positioning of these boats and of the horizon. Even though it's pretty low, I do think it works quite well. A bit too much saturation in the sky for my taste and the sun, maybe not the best position, but overall I do like the picture, especially uh, I'm glad that you didn't try to retrieve any of that shadow detail in the boats because it really works pretty organically and very simplistically. The next one, absolutely gorgeous picture, I love it, beautiful foreground here, you didn't add too much, you didn't add too little, you didn't cut off anything, beautiful silhouettes of the boats once again. Again, really love to see this full sun in the middle of these two boats and you even have some of the lighting here on the water absolutely gorgeous picture the only two things that I can even think of to not make it better but just to try out for yourself is once again try out the panoramic crop maybe you like it better maybe not but just try it out. And the other thing would be you could also try to grab an adjustment brush and just draw over here and go a little bit into the minor saturation, but at the end really not sure if it will work and absolutely amazing picture once again. Then this one right here, hmm, it doesn't really do anything for me to be honest. It's just, it's really just chaos. There's not anything that my eye goes to. There's not anything that my eye stays at. It's really very a lot going on with nothing really interesting. I think if you would have just zoomed in towards the left here and just got a picture like this, that would be a lot better. And I think you shot this with a phone, yeah, so you can't really zoom in, but you can of course still go closer to the actual scene. So yeah, definitely. It needs some more foreground, some more actual subject and less distractions, less stuff going on that doesn't really add to the picture. Then another one, mm, this also seems kind of like a snapshot to me. Uh, if you would go panoramic here and if you would get a better foreground, a more interesting foreground, even if it's just a very small portion and maybe a ship or a boat on the right here, I think you could get a really, really cool picture. But how it is right here, it's just, you know, it looks good, but it's not really interesting to me. Then the other one right here, you have some amazing waves, but once again, seems more like a snapshot to me. Um, the foreground doesn't really do it for me either, although I think you put a little bit more thought into this picture, uh, because you do kind of have some kind of leading lines here. Um, but yeah, once again, it looks more like a snapshot to me, and if you could zoom in on the waves or just get something more interesting, I think that would be an amazing place to do that, but how the framing and how the angles are right here, nothing too much for me. Then this one, this is actually very interesting. I do like the color. It's definitely an amazing place you have here with all of this old stuff kind of withered and weathered. I'm not quite sure which one is the right thing to say here. I think you have an amazing scene, but the fence is actually more distracting me rather than adding to the overall picture. I think maybe if you would go into black and white, the fence wouldn't be as distracting, 
but uh, yeah, other than that, I do actually like the composition a lot. You have this window here towards the left, and you have this kind of roof leading you into the picture. Then going to this tree, you didn't cut off anything important, and you also have this line of houses right here, uh, as well with some trees above. I think it's an amazing angle, amazing scenery, just the fence doesn't really work for me. But once again, if you would go black and white, the fence may look less distracting. But great angle, great composition, and great color as well. This one right here, hmm. I think there's just a bit of context necessary, because it's almost abstract and I do like some of these shapes, definitely cool uh, actual subject. But maybe if you would include a tree in the foreground, or just something that adds depth and makes everything a bit less abstract. I mean, I don't mind abstract pictures, but here it's kind of half abstract and half not. So I think I either go fully abstract or try to get maybe a tree in the foreground and really implement that and also create some sort of path from that tree or foreground element to this actual tower, whether it be an actual path or maybe just, you know, a connection of two points or something like that. So then, this is actually very interesting. It's a super simplistic picture, but I do like it. And the reason for that is definitely this curve right here, because without the curve, it would just be very, very boring, nothing at all. But with this curve, it, I mean, it's not the most uh, stunning picture of the world, but it has a very calming, very simplistic, very silent atmosphere, and I do think it works quite well. I also like that you've added some graduation in the sky here, at least. I think you did so with the graduated filter, and if I'm correct here, then try to get a little bit more of a softer edge, because I think I see a little bit too much graduation right here from one point to another, but overall, once again, great picture actually, very simplistic, but works really, really well. Then this is the last one, and just the sun, once again, very simplistic. I definitely think that you have way too much green tones right here, but I think it does work, especially because of this reflection in the water, kind of leading you into the picture to the actual sun. But yeah, definitely get rid of some of these green tones and you will have a pretty cool picture. So that was already it. Thank you very much for zooming in your pictures, Andy. And of course, as always, if you would like to submit your own photos, then just be sure to check the link in the description. But yeah, absolutely have some great pictures, especially this one I love. Beautiful composition, beautiful everything. And the, this one as well, pretty cool colors. And I do like this one quite a bit as well. Very easy, very simplistic, but works just beautifully. So that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Hey.